Heck yeah. Hooray! We are beginning a new adventure. As mom shoves us out the door. Mom! <laughs> Go catch some Pokemans! <laughs> mom! I gotta watch my stories! Are you, wait, are you turning the whimsical beginning of Pokemon into a tale of childhood neglect? <laughs> I might be. No neglect, only whimsy. You, you mean it isn't? <laughs> Changed the background and it startled me because I'm like, Just in character introductions. Uh, Toshiko is a researcher and uh, chronicler, is what I started out with. Uh, she is super excited to go out and gather data to send back to uh, back to the cloister over how the world has changed. Uh, yeah. This is Psyche. She's very shy, but... <laughs> uh, has a lot of power. That's me, Yakum. Well, it's been a wonderful time here so far living inside the cloister, but there's only so much that we can do, and there's so much more outside. There's so many people to meet, and so many things to find, and cook up to bring back here to broaden our experience. And, uh, well, I would introduce you to, to my best boy, Robin, but... I believe he is sleeping. He ate quite recently, about 30 minutes ago, and is still napping. I, I cannot move him. Physically, it is, it is too difficult. Ace Jones, thank you. Uh, I'm a scrapper here. I uh, get by taking the parts that people don't need and reusing them. And uh, I'm excited to see the new world and figure out the truth of what happened after all. That is Eris. She is my best friend and my partner in crime. Yes, uh, I have been 
training in survivalism and combat. I am here to protect the uh, new group of rebuilders, so that way when we step out into the world, they don't immediately get killed. I guess you could say I'm the brawn of the operation. Yep, this, this is this is Brienne. She is my beefy baby, and she she is a good girl. She is a very good girl, and you don't want to mess with her. Yes, sir.
Um, Beckett, real quick, if you still wanted to uh, make sure that you use the stream for posterity, your voice cannot be heard on the stream. I have no idea how, but that's that's what's happening. Um, do we want to do a real quick check just to make sure that we can hear everybody? All right, who would like to go first? I will. Uh, I will speak over other people. Is what I <laughs> ended up doing. How dare you? Oh, yeah, Frey, we could absolutely hear you. Who would like to go next? Oh my god. Mic check, mic check. Alright. Alright, how about now? Alright. Hang on. Okay, so we can hear Kimbo. And now we can hear you. Cool, I think I know what, I think I know what happened. Alright, start. Um, uh, my thing is probably, like, going to be all if if I leave, I'll just come right back in. Okay. I'll like I normally do. All you right. can be heard you can be heard very well, uh, Strider. Okay, cool. Alright, All right. we're good. So do I need to like recap that? Because I can. <laughs> um, if you're doing it for posterity. I will. Alright. Just give me a sec then. Uh also let me check something there. Um yeah, my mic should be good, sorry. I got YouTube on so, for my dog, so she should be okay. Alright, so... So sorry about the technical difficulty. This is technically still my first stream, so I'm still learning as I go. But yeah. Um, so, for the course of the introduction, uh, I had Professor Grand Oak, the AI monitor and uh, central computer for the Pokemon Home uh, computer system introduce and induct the players into the uh, core, and then I had their uh, commander and the uh, Cloister's uh, overseer, Commander Surge, um, give them a short little orientation intro welcome. And now I'm giving a overview of the world as to what is going on and uh, what the circumstances are that there is this cloister and this rebuilder core and what that means. The Pokemon world has been forever changed. Grand Meteor Delta has collided with the planet. The Cataclysm has wiped out most of the human population across the globe. However, all is not lost. Though they are few in number, humanity still survives alongside their friends before the meteor hit, each of the regions built bunkers dubbed Cloisters. They were buried deep enough to avoid the effects of the impact, strong enough to withstand it, and stocked with enough resources to keep the inhabitants alive until the surface became habitable again. Sadly, there wasn't enough room for everyone on the planet in these Cloisters, and only a fraction of the world's humans and Pokémon were able to fit into them. The rest were left to their fate as the meteor collided with the planet. A century has passed since the collision. So too have the catastrophic effects of the meteor passed that life might emerge and continue anew. At least that's what the reports might say. But what sorts of world awaits these intrepid survivors? Will they rise from the ashes and rebuild the world bigger and better than before? Or will this strange new world decide there is no place for relics of the past such as them? Only time will tell us as their stories unfold. But before we tell that story, we shall tell the story of these adventures, these rebuilders, and their life within this cloister. Which is where we will start off with. I shall now roll a dice to see who we open up to. One, two, three, four. It's 
see how well the dice start to love us tonight. All right. So. Layla. All right. <laughs> you had to say something, right? Mm -hmm. I did. So that's how it always goes. You have a dream. Drink the urge to sing I dreamed a dream. You dream of an area overcast with a massive thunderstorm. Typhoons and hurricanes pouring down. You see flashes and cracks of lightning illuminate the landscape. And you see ruined buildings and structures uh, walking the cracked and ruined streets. In the streets, you see the silhouettes of people and the shadows of Pokemon wandering aimlessly and senselessly about. And among them, you see a peculiar shape. It appears to be the shape of a cloaked human. And... They seem to be looking towards you. They whisper to you. I need your help. There's desperation in their voice. And then lightning will strike once more. And you will see a massive shadowy worm serpent-like figure behind them with wings outstretched before it strikes down on them, and then you wake up in your room. Okay. <laughs> um. Uh, it's, it's just a dream. Just a dream. It's, it's all it is. It's at this point you also realize you are terribly hungry. Is Brienne still sleeping or did she wake up too? Brienne looks rather concerned as you've just sort of like wh shot up in a cold sweat. Oh. Don't, don't worry about me. I'm fine. Don't. She goes it's up okay. and sort of like nuzzles and hugs you. Baby, I'm gonna hug her back. Here, come on. Don't All worry right. about it. We'll we'll be fine. Let's let's go get something to eat. <laughs> I know it's safe, but there you go. Yep, see? That's that's not Brienne too hard immediately to... starts like skittering to the door of your quarters, scraping against it. Hey, 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 hey! Be nice. <laughs> not until you stop scratching it. Um Commander all. Oh! Alright. Um. Oh yeah, that's right. This is a roll page. Uh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? There's my command. The end nine. All right. So, uh, with that, um. Brienne will stop what she's doing and listen to you. And she will <laughs> walk. Uh oh. Hello? My baby! Back. Hello? Welcome so, back. Sorry. Hello? I guess I cut out for a second. Yeah, we, we didn't did. hear anything. Uh, I just said that Brienne stops what she's doing and goes back over to you. Now she's gonna open the door. All right. You step out of your room and you will uh, make your way towards the cafeteria. And with that, we will then cut over to another person. One, two, three. Uh, 
Uh, Strider, what is Ace doing? Ace is probably hanging out with his friends, getting a little hungry. All right. So it has been quite a long and uh, high or low? Low. All right. Well, never mind then, boys and girls. It's gonna be that kind of game. So it has been a rather long and unfortunately fruitless day of scrapping today in the cloister. Apparently nobody's throwing away any good or useful junk. Seems one man's trash is this man's trash as well today. Or, yeah, your character's a man, right? Yeah. Cool. So, that said, might as well go get some trash food to, uh, cope and, uh, replenish your energy. Also, uh, Eris tends to get rather cranky when she gets hungry. She does, doesn't she? So, you will then hear, uh, Eris's stomach begin to sort of rumble and she will just sort of like look up at you with like a sort of Um, I pick her up and I'm going to say later, I'm going to head over to the cafeteria to feed her Alright yeah, getting... So then I suppose we'll go to the next one. Frey. Yes. What is Toshiko up to currently? Uh, Toshiko is uh, preparing documents to collate data. She's expecting to have lots of new information, and so it's All right. she's got documents uh, ready for places to go exactly where they should. Wonderful, wonderful. So, you have been working very diligently all day, and um, as you do, um, you will suddenly feel a hand tap you on the shoulder. Toshi jumps a little bit and turns to look. You whirl around and see your good friend and mentor, Professor Cypress, standing behind you, looking rather, uh... embarrassed that she startled you. Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I was just, uh, checking in. How are things? Uh, things are... I have, uh... I'm really excited. Um... She's going to sort of, like, peer at the monitor, and she'll, like, adjust her glasses as her eyes widen. Oh, wow. Toshi, you know... You know those papers aren't, like, expected to be submitted until next week, right? Oh, no, 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 no. If, if I have my spreadsheets ready and know exactly where I'm going to be putting species data, height, weights, like, all, everything that I'm going to be recording uh, with the Pokedex and... Uh, at, I, I thought I'd be ready. <laughs> <laughs> and then she is going to, like, laugh, but then she'll, like, nod at you and say, I, Well, I must say that I'm impressed. I don't even think I could get such, uh, organization done so efficiently. <sighs> Heck, I can barely keep the lab together. You do all right, Professor. Aw, <laughs> oh, thanks. It means a lot for you to say that. But also, speaking of doing all right, when was the last time you ate? Eight. To uh, she, she Toshi, kind of just, like, we've bad. been over this. I know that you get very into your work, and I appreciate the dedication, but your work needs to also be focused on taking care of yourself as well. I wasn't feeling hungry. But I suppose I... 
and then you just feel your suddenly, you then suddenly hear your stomach let out a just loud, Sure about that? I hadn't been, uh, but your advice seems sound. (laughs) All right. Run along to the cafeteria. Your work will be right here when you get back. Or heck, if you want, just bring the laptop. Uh, like, there's kind of a furtive expression and then a quick snatching of the laptop as she, uh, grabs the laptop under one hand, uh, reaches out for, uh, Psyche with the other hand, uh, uh who... Is Psyche in the room, or is she Oh, yeah, in the she room? is. She's currently curled up and napping just beside your laptop because it's warm and it produces electricity and she likes that. Yeah. Uh, so she can go in uh, <laughs> the collar of my lab coat uh, as I pick her up and gently place her, uh, snatch the laptop, and uh, hightail it. So, yeah. You scoop up... Uh, you scoop up Psyche, and as you do, and just tuck her in your coat, um, she'll sort of, like, just sort of, like, jolt awake slightly, and she just sort of, like, looks around with what's going on. Shh, shh, shh. no, 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 honey, it's okay, we're just gonna go get some food. Um, alright, uh, roll me a Pokemon education or, uh, charm roll, dealer's choice. Uh, I'm, I, I think I know exactly which one of those I'm gonna do. Right on. Uh. Uh, it's gonna be this one. Hey. <laughs> Shh, no, 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 hush now. It's okay. You feel her start to sort of vibrate and buzz a little bit, but as you soothe her, she will just sort of, like, drift back to, uh, content days within your lab coat. You know how Everything to handle Psyche. it should be. One might even say you're in her head. <laughs> Which brings us finally to the cafeteria itself as Himbo, your character is um, running late for their volunteer duty as a uh, assistant chef because SOMEONE decided to sleep in! Well, there's not much that can be done in this situation, but with the much likes running along behind me, I'm gonna be carrying a couple bags worth of cans with me from the storage facility and careening off down to the kitchen to try to make sure I can get somewhere on time for once. All right. Um, make me an athletics roll real quick, please. Oh, good. Uh, I'm very average at these, so let's... Why no? You make it, but only just. As you see... The door to the cafeteria's uh, kitchen swing open, and you see the chef's machamp standing in the double doors. Hit two of his arm, uh, one set of his arms crossed, and the other holding a turner in one hand and a knife in the other. Stealth roll. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh oh. <laughs> Versus Machamp's uh, perception. Oh my god. I'm just gonna roll behind the screen for this one. Oh lord. (laughs) I just. (laughs) I just have this image of Yaku. Yep. Heading in, immediately bursts in, and the Machap is literally yep. staring at the doors, and then as he looks at the timer, suddenly he's gone again. So, like... You just start sliding to the side. So, <laughs> you duck behind the doors as they swing open to try and avoid Machamp's gaze. You wait for him to turn around, and you just start to try and slowly creep in, but then you will suddenly feel yourselves pulled very suddenly and forcefully by Machamp's arms as he looks to you and just starts scolding you in Machamp. Before dragging you each to your stations. Scold him! I was awake! You know that! Ma! Machamp! Ma! <laughs> Bullshit. 
bullshit. <laughs> you will then see the head chef uh, walk over to you and just sort of like giggle a bit. So, Robin slept in again, huh? In on everything. <laughs> he says sort of bashfully. <laughs> You're a menace. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's much lax for you. Still, no, no worries. You're just in time for the lunch rush. Yes, I know that he was only barely on time, but he's here now. And your name is not Lunch Rush. Machamp. Machamp then goes back to uh, his station. Over in the corner, uh, chopping up vegetables, you will see a Scyther doing very good work. And uh, rinsing its claws in between um, sessions of slicing. Because it practices cleanliness. Hashtag COVID-19. <laughs> Cross-contamination. That's good food prep right there. Just, yeah. just good guidelines in general. All right. And with that... We will rejoin the rest of our rebuilders as they start trickling into the cafeteria and as fate would have it they end up uh just behind one another in line so um Layla Ace and Toshiko you uh meet up and you all know each other at least marginally well well how well I'll leave up to you but at the very least you're acquainted with one another from your training and application in the Rebuilder Corps. I'm going to take the last pudding cup. <laughs> that said, um, Layla looks kind of like she's seen a ghost. She's distracted. I'll use that to my advantage. <laughs> Toshi greets uh, Eris and Brienne warmly. Mm-hmm. Uh, Brienne, like, waves gleefully at Toshiko and, uh, sort of runs and scampers over to her, running between her legs. Hello, friend. We're gonna be getting some good food soon. Are you excited? I know, me too. Brienne just starts, like, jumping excitedly and hyperactively at the mention of food. Now we have to wait in line, right? And they'll give us our food, and then we can enjoy it. Uh, Brienne grumbles. Now, what happened last time you cut in line? Uh, I didn't cut, I grabbed. I, I didn't say you did. Brienne tends oh. to. Did oh, you just I... out yourself? No. Hello, Eris. How are you today? Hey, wait! Hey, wait, wait, wait! She uh, I'm going to, uh, squeaks happily. To... I'm going to pet Evie since she's kind of just chilling on my shoulder. Uh, Toshi holds a hand out and asks, May I? Hey, bye bye! Did she, she uh, love you? She like nuzzles against your hand. I give her some good nuzzles. <laughs> she deserves it. Cheater. Hey, bye. Your scandalous tart is what you are, Eris. <laughs> boy! Alright. Eventually you will make your way over to the counter where you will see your other acquaintance, Jakob, working diligently with Munchlax to serve the uh, lunch rush. You also see Munchlax, like, Fighting the urge to just devour everything in front of him. <laughs> I, I cannot wait to come up with a combination attack that I'm gonna call the lunch rush. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Hell yes, brother. I love it. Beautiful. <laughs> what do we have today, Yaku? 
Well, uh, I myself was just in charge over here of taking care of the couscous and the vegetable dish. My but the, the vegetable dish is chickpeas, eggplants with some honey and mint. That sounds lovely. May I have some? Ace is going to make a face. <laughs> Uh, Robin will then dutifully scoop some onto a plate and, like, leap up and just do his very best to just nudge it towards Toshiko. I hold my plate down and, uh, like, yeah, I lean over to yep. try and help make it so. Yep. Aww. He's able to place the, uh, bowl onto your plate and, uh, allow you to move on should you desire. Thank you so much, Robin. My dick! Yeah! It gives you a salute. But it also just watches I... as you as you just slide by with the food. <laughs> Mata! And then it just snaps back to attention to the next customer. Oh. You can last here into your shift. I know you can do it, Robin. Oh, yeah. And then you'll get all the treats you like. Uh, looks over to um, Brienne and uh, Layla next. Brienne is also like salivating at everything it sees about. Hey, 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 hey. You can't take everything. We have to let other people take some too. Oh. I know, I know, but. They don't have any spicy thing on the menu, do you? you? You do have some hot sauce available, right? Gran usually likes the spicy stuff. My, my dick, my dick, my dick! And then, and then Robin's just gonna sort of like dash off through the kitchen. Uh, well, when he gets started, he, he probably shouldn't get in his way, so I'm just gonna watch. Yep. Uh, you'll see him rush over to some of the ingredients by Scyther. And he will take out one large pony radish, a radish that is native to the Alola region, specifically from Pony Island, that has a particular spice to it that can make an excellent flavor when prepared in a dish. You have some pony radishes? Uh, it will, uh, Robin will then rush back over to the, uh, station with it and just sort of like hand it up to you uh Jakob just like eyes glittering with like an eye health expression oh. that is a good candidate for his first mid work treat to keep his uh, to keep his energy up so he can continue working until the end of his shift when he can have dinner yep All right, he will gladly accept the treat as he uh, hands up the spicy pony radish for Brienne, who just like we starts trained. dancing on the like surface as she sees it. Oh, you like the good stuff, don't you? Sir, 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 sir. All right, all right, come on, come on up, and she's gonna. She's going to lay her arm down for Brienne to come up onto her shoulder. Yep. The head chef will then pass by and he will uh, smile and greet you. <laughs> Brienne sure loves her spicy food, doesn't she? Anything to keep you guys on your toes. <laughs> well, as long as we're making Pokemon happy, we're a happy kitchen. My champ! Well, most of us. He's so cool. Why is he so grumpy today? I eh, don't mind him. He loves his work, just sometimes maybe a little too much. And when when mistakes happen, he gets upset. Perfectionist. I get it. <laughs> eh, he gets it from me. I was that way when I was young. What about you, Ace? What'll it be today? I'll skip the chickpeas, but... 
I guess I'll take the Kush Kush. All right, some Kush Kush coming right up. And then with that, Machamp already has the plate in hand and just like slides it over to you delicately. A like sort of quiet and proud expression on his face. Mwah. I'm, I'm proud to see that there's somebody efficient working in the kitchens today. Thank you, Machamp. Machamp! He says, doing like a sort of like proud pose. And I will put the pudding that I most definitely did not take and go to my table. <laughs> All right. The cafeteria appears pretty packed today because, uh, well, it's been a very big day for the Rebuilder course, so they've been, like, kind of packing the cafeteria. Apparently, there's rumors going around that there's some, uh, big announcement that's coming up. However, you will eventually find a table with enough free space with only one other person sitting there. Um, the, uh, uh, one of your fellow rebuilders, uh, a young girl by the name of Cecilia. CC! As you stand and walk, looking about for some place to eat, she will just sort of, like, uh, sit up and just start waving. Over here! Hello. Hello, Polly. How are you today? Polly Wag will then leap up onto uh, the uh, table and start just sort of like croaking and squeaking happily. Polly, we talked about this! No feet on the table! Polly Wag will then just sort of like leap down onto its seat. Like, do you want to see Brienne got? Say what? Uh, she she goes over to Layla's gonna go over to Polly and say, Hey, do you wanna see what Brienne got? Boom. Go ahead, show her. <laughs> Holds up like some of the pony radish that she sliced and Polywag is just gonna sort of like uh go like wide eyed at it. Oh wow, a pony radish! I didn't know those were on the menu today! Not, but and just ask for something spicy because Brian can be a little bit of a picky eater sometimes. <sighs> so, did you guys hear about the announcement? What about what it, announcement? I I've mean, been in the lab all day. <laughs> I mean, it hasn't been made yet, but like, word amongst the core is that there's going to be some big announcement uh, from the commander. I I hear that we may be deploying soon. Oh. Like, how soon? Um, Ace asks while he's giving uh, Eris a little bit of the banana cream pudding. One would assume they would give us a reasonable amount of notice. I haven't even started to pack. Yeah, well, word travels fast in the cloister, and the rumor mill is, uh, busy, I guess. Who knows? It's mostly just speculation at this point. Uh, who knows? Maybe... Maybe we're just... Maybe things are better. Maybe, maybe things are better than we thought up there, and they just want to get a head start on the project. That we could go up at all? Oh my gosh, I can't even imagine. For context, you guys have been down here literally your entire lives. This cloister, this tube of metal and simulated sunlight, artificial agriculture, and just the best recreation of the old world from records that you have from a time decades past has been your whole lives, but there's always just been this talk, this idea, this romanticization of the world above and going back out there and rebuilding it. What do you think is out there anyway? <sighs> lots of data. <laughs> Probably lots of Pokemon. And we can learn all about them. <laughs> 
and see how things like we've been gone for so long like think about how much it could have changed oh. well I'm sure they'll tell us soon enough if there's anything going on yeah hey Layla you doing alright you look kind of like you woke up on the wrong side of the bed oh um no I'm <laughs> I'm fine I'm good I if just... you push your bed against the wall, Layla, you only wake up on one side of the bed. It works for me. Uh, Thanks. Layla? Thanks. Thanks, AJ. I'll keep that in mind. Layla, make me a... Make me a guile roll. Ah, crap. That's what I'm bad at! Um... She's just gonna continue on. I'm, I'm fine. I just didn't get a whole lot of sleep. I mean, I know some places you can get lavender, and I hear that helps. May have to take you up on that. <sighs> Layla, we've been friends for so long, and you tell me everything. I can tell when you got something on your mind. It... It's just a dream. It's no big deal. It's just, just this weird dream I had that... I don't know. A weird dream? What happened? It... it I don't... I don't remember a whole lot of it. It's just... You know... Oh. You... Did you dream that, like, you walked out of your room completely naked? Because I have one time that's the most... Like, I woke up mortified. <laughs> uh... No. Well, no. What was it then? I, just, I don't know. It was. It was like being in the simulations, where you know you go into cities to try and gather supplies, see how good your skills are, and there was there was somebody there was like somebody there, and they said that they needed help, and there's. I don't know. There's lightning and a shadow, and that's it. Um, this actually strikes you guys as very strange because that sounds chillingly similar to a dream that Ace had last night and that Toshiko had the night before. Now, when you say shadow, was there, like, a shadowy some sort of worm behind the figure? I, I guess you could say it was kind of like a dragon. You know, long dragon wings, maybe. I had some a dream rather along those same lines two nights ago. Oh. Seems odd that there would be a link between. Why would we share a dream? Ace is just going to keep eating his meal. I'm, I'm sure it's nothing. It's just a dream. It's no reason to. Maybe it's something calling out to us from beyond mm. the skies. No, Skinner once said that he dreamed about tapeworms one time, and then the next night, like, three of us dreamed about tapeworms, so it could just be, like, influenced by listening to somebody else. Not entirely wrong. Also, don't listen to Skinner. Noted. Well, I guess we'll find out, or... Maybe it'll just be nothing. Cece, did you have a dream like that? Um... No, not really. I usually just 
dream about the ocean. Why would you dream about something that terrifying? Terrifying? The ocean is amazing! It's so big and vast and there's so many things living in it and 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 even before the impact there was just so much we didn't know about it oh my goodness i can't wait to see it i hope it's still there toshi nods excitedly in agreement ace is going to look over at layla and toshi like eyes wide and mouth is she insane polly's just gonna start like looking up and leaning against uh cecilia as well their eyes sparkling wistfully Bill looks back to, to Ace and goes like, probably. Jakob uh, walks himself out of one of yep. the kitchen side doors, uh, towel wiping his hands down as he's taking a quick moment to break. Yeah, you have actually just uh, been cleared for your own lunch break, Jakob, which Robin is super eager for. I am uh, going to... Make sure that I hold the door open for him. I don't want to get in his way, as I have no desire to go to the med bay at this day. So, <laughs> as you hold the door open, he's just gonna go, like, peeling out. And he, he just... is actually, like, the most agile munchlax. Also, I improved yep. his... <laughs> I, I actually specifically improved his acrobatics and athletics with two new points. Wonderful. Then in that case, could you please have him make an athletics roll for me real quick? Oh, oh fuck, absolutely. Because <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, well, depending how this goes, this is going to be hilarious or hilariously amazing. Uh, I'm going to BRB, so I will be muting myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I mean, that's okay, actually... That's, uh, yeah. oh. that's not terrible. Oh, it's... Uh, I'm too used to the, the red yep. box being like automatic critical, but I'm no, yeah, same here, same we're here. Really I'm not sure yeah. how the uh, I'm not sure how the modifiers or bonus system works for skills. I'm not sure if that the other modifiers is something that's used for skills very often. Uh, for now, an eight will be more than enough to have him avoid colliding into the wall as he just sort of like screeches to a stop before it. Just heaves a sigh of uh, relief that he didn't face plant into the wall again you know i had a dream the other night as well kind of like uh you know the that uh that fake protein we get that has it's kind of shaped like a kind of like a hog something like that i had a dream about going outside the cloister and seeing those but flying through the sky with wings like some kind of sky meat much, yeah. Much likes his mouth waters at that. Dreamed about food flying. As you all see, uh, Jakob join you. Oh, Jakob! Managed to get your break. Do you, do you not dream of food? As he sits down and nods towards Cecilia. <laughs> Bran does. <laughs> Was I mean, there a storm around your flying sausages? A slow turn and try not to snicker. I don't think I've been asked that before. Okay, next. In your dream. What, what about the dream? What was there a storm in it? I don't think so. I was mostly paying attention to the sky meat. Hmm. Toshi uh, pulls out her mm. poke gear and starts like flipping to her own dream log and making some notes at the bottom. Layla is shoveling yep. her mouth with food so that way she doesn't say anything. Alright. Um. As you do that, um. Your concentration will suddenly be sort of, uh. 
disturbed by a loud and uh, piercing shrill voice. <laughs> what a ridiculous notion! You turn around and you see one of the uh, resident scientists and a total kiss up to Professor Sakura, or C Cypress, sorry. And, um. A. Something of a, uh. I guess the vault's equivalent, or the cloister's equivalent of a rich kid. One Dudley Jagger standing behind you in his smarm, smarmy expression, adjusting his glasses smugly. Only fools dream of such ridiculous things as flying breakfast meat. And can't, be any more can't be any more ridiculous than your dreams, Jagoff. Nobody it's Jagger! Nobody wants your opinion, douche Jag. It's <laughs> Jagger! You know my name is Jagger! That's, that's even better, I gotta give it to you. We, we know Jagger, but we don't care is the thing. Now... Why don't you go and find someone who wants to eat with you if you're so smart? <laughs> As if I need to surround myself with plebeians, and yet you're still talking to us. <laughs> Goodbye. And he'll just sort of like stomp off. Honestly, why does Professor tolerate him? Uh. I, I, uh... Uh, Toshi spends a lot of time with the professor and could theoretically have some. Yeah, it's because idea. Uh, she says the professor says that she tolerates him because, well, he's absolutely not good at social tact. He does have a gift for technology and engineering, and he does have a great breadth of knowledge. And she does see a gift in him. She just believes that he needs to be properly nurtured, but it's, uh, it's admittedly a bit slow going. He, he has a lot of technical more. knowledge, but he's not good with people. So what you're saying Kind of like me. Egghead. No, you are aren't an asshole. You're not, you're a nerd. You're not an asshole. Toshi's a nerd. The professor's an egghead. Yeah. And they're both lovable. He's just a knob. <laughs> Dover and Jack. His dad owns a dealership. <laughs> Nonetheless, he possesses skills I do not. So, despite his unpleasantness. He does good work. So, Sometimes. I have a question for you then, Toki. I possess skills that you do not. So does yes. that mean that I do good work? Yes. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry. You have Didn't things that you are good at, that I am not. I'm not sure I see the joke here, Ace. Polly also I looks do confused. and that's all that matters. get a snicker and go back to her food. Yep. Alright. Oh, my. So, with that, um, eventually, um, lunch will come to an end, and you will all get some calls on your poke gear. Calls or texts? Calls. Ring, ring. Uh, the holotuner function flashes and the image of, um, Professor Grand Oak appears before you. Greetings, Rebuilders! I hope you all enjoyed your lunches. Once you're finished, Please come down to the main assembly hall at your earliest convenience. Commander Surge has an announcement. That is... Well, you're gonna want to hear this. 
Also, for the record, uh, Professor Grand Oak is an interactive AI, so you can speak to him and converse with him. Um, can you give us any deets as to what this is about? Uh, I'm not at liberty to discuss it at this time, but, uh, think of it as a surprise. I don't like surprises. Information dissemination will be most efficient when everyone can hear it. Exactly! We'll Toshi gets it! Toshi, why'd you have to speak nerd to him? Because... I think you were cool. Be because I... am nerd? Yeah, Toshi kind of looks to Layla, just kind of, like, confirming. You're just jealous because she speaks my language! I don't want to speak your language. Well, in any case, I'll see you at the assembly. If you need anything, just give me a call. And he will then uh, vanish back into the Poke Gear. Thank you, Professor. Ace is going to uh. smirk at them and say, Should I call him back and ask him the same question? You know what? You should. I will. I'm going to call the Professor back. All right. Grand Oak appears once again. Hello, Ace. How can I be of assistance? So can you tell us any information about what the meeting is about? He just gives you this look. You think He's you're funny, don't you? Oh, I think I'm adorable. Well, your Pokemon's adorable. Hey, bye! Play, I have to agree. You think I'm adorable too? Yeah. Thank you. You and Eris. Oh, we are quite the adorable pair. And so, Professor, is there anything you could tell us? Just like a tiny little hint? Mm. I'll say this things are looking up. gives Cece a look. Cece's eyes just sort of like widen and glow with hope. She's just will then well, like pack. start wolfing down the food and just like clears her tray at once. I'm gonna go see you guys in the assembly hall! You can us. We're all going to the same place. Well, let's speed up, slowpokes! Oh, woo! Cece! <laughs> I'm gonna give Eris the rest of my banana cream pudding. I'm, uh, just, uh, um, uh, okay. Uh, first, sorry, first off, you should make me a, uh, someone a mod in your stream so you can ban the bots that are gonna be inevitably hitting you like that one just did. Yeah, no, I know, I noticed that. I just, I have, I don't know how to do that, so I'll worry about that later. It's okay, I'll tell you later. Cool, cool. Thank you. Alright, so then. Um, as I was saying, so, Ace, as you go to hand, um, to hand off your pudding, um, I'm going to need, um, Evie or you to make me a, uh, what, ch what check would that be? Perception. And I am going to need Robin to make me an athletics. Okay, I am going to attempt to guide Robin out this time, putting my hand behind him and trying to mus mush him through the doorway. Well, right now, he's trying to dive for that pudding that's being handed off. Well, I'm trying! I'm not succeeding! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking to see which one of us has the better perception. Uh... Uh, also, Robin. Much like this have uncannily naturally high perception. <laughs> this game. I'm already loving this. And we haven't even gotten to the good stuff yet. Oh, oh, boy. Boy. Oh, boy. Food. 
It is seek <laughs> and destroy is time. That is the best you can roll, and you have been slain. Now perish. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> you go to hand off now the pudding perish. as if nothing was happening. Eris goes to, like, eat at it, but then... And then much like just like fucking jump dives, grabs the pudding in its mouth, spirals down, just like a perfect point landing, and just starts running off into the hallway. And poor Eris just looks devastated before chasing after Munchlax. Eris, Eris, no, Eris! Uh, Hippo starts. Ahead, Ace is going to be running after them, and he's going to yell, I stole it! I earned it! And he <laughs> takes off. <laughs> Alright. And, uh, Jakob is going to chase after Eris with a mini chocolate pancake in his hand, trying to distract them. <laughs> and with that, I believe now is a good time to call our first break for the evening. Wonderful. Uh, Toshiko takes another bite. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, Toshi and Psyche are just left there as everybody goes to chase. Oh my god. Well, Toshi just said, humans are weird. Ace was totally sharing that pudding with Eris, knowing that she likes sweet things and banana cream pie. So he Aww. saw it, went for it, and he's like, we're going to share this, buddy. Don't worry. Oh, that's so sweet. All right. And so with that. We will be in our first break of the night. We will return in about... Um, we start a little late. Let's make it ten minutes. Thank you. Thank you, Ten. All right. I'm going to be chilling. Cool, cool. So we will be back in about ten or nine minutes at this point. So uh, y'all guys uh, stick around for those of you who are watching. And uh, thanks, for, uh, thanks for your attention. <laughs>